<laughs> what? Oh my god, I am finally doing another beatbox reaction video. Isn't that exciting, guys? Where'd all the beatbox fans go? Well, they got tired of waiting for your slow ass reaction. Well, I'm still gonna do it anyway because I've been wanting to check out D-Lo. I don't know why, but I don't think I've ever checked out a, a D-Lo battle before. I've seen him on the panel judging. So, so far, what do I think of D-Lo? I think he's a judgmental ass motherfucker. From what I understand, a lot of people think he's a, the, 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 the top of the top. So what we're about to do is go back. Way back to 2018, Codfish versus D-Lo. Now, I don't think anybody even recommended this, but it just, interested me so i, I want to react to something i'm interested in if at any point you're watching this video and you're like hey you know what I, I, I like this video then make sure to like this video we're actually gonna look at this from a bit of a music production perspective because my name is joey Nato. i'm actually a rapper music producer mix engineer twitch streamer youtuber by the way we stream on twitch all throughout the week so make sure to come through for a stream say what's up compliment my hair and let's get it lucky squad never give up Let's get into it. I'm pretty excited, bro. It's it, it's been a while. Am I gonna hear that beautiful intro where it's like, <laughs> imagine if the intro was my version of that. Besides that, yo, let me know what beatbox reactions I have to do next because that's that's probably the biggest struggle. Okay, that's the biggest struggle for me with the beatbox reactions. It's, it's a big ocean of, of content out there. I need to know what to react to. So let me know. Scream at me. Put a bunch of emojis next to your comment and sh so I can like know notice it. You know. <laughs> oh, different intro. Minute thirty on D-Lo. <laughs> wait a minute, wait, wait, bro. Look at the minute thirty. His pen spinning skills was kind of dope. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I'm easily impressed. I don't know. Yo, this is the final. Got a D-Lo chant going. Noise. Give him some energy. Give him some love. Come on. Woo! Let's go. Let's go. We're on Got the same page. Y'all say the two and the one. One minute thirty on D-Lo. I know I do this. Three. Two, one, beatbox. I hope you guys are enjoying my tracks. And shout out to BBXR Clothing. Okay. Oh, where my guy from? I heard the accent. When Paul was just a little boy, I thought that everything was perfect. Oh, nice, bro. Nice subby bass drop there. I mean, I guess that that kind of plays the the part of an eight. -o no, 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 no. Because he's doing like an R and B thing, so that would just be a, a sub bass line right there, just a. But he started off lighter. It didn't have that much bass to it. So the second time the bass comes in, he brings in a lot more sub frequencies, and it just it just hits a lot harder. He's doing a nice little falsetto singing and a nice little rim shot snare. I thought that everything was perfect. If it's like a click, they may call it a snare and beatboxing, but it's really like a rim shot, which is the rim of the snare drum. Little hi hat. I know what I'm supposed to do. Relax, take a step back and breathe. Okay. Oh, oh, he changed his falsetto vocal tone and he kind of changed it into like a dist he like added a distortion effect to his voice. I mean, granted, this is all natural, but he made his voice. He like synthesized his voice to make it sound more like a melodic solo like a melodic vocal chop solo that's in like EDM music and stuff like that Ooh. Ooh, the roll hurry up escape the thunderstorm yeah we can play it oh lighter bass notes i don't want no more like electric times there i don't want to be a the rumble in that bass is crazy a lot more firmer snares me up on all the platforms time we could save if we switch our insurance to njm where the f are you guys y'all better start beatboxing other uh bro oh my gosh she got some big ass titties what my boy's swinging to the titties. That just happened. With the response, Codfish from Australia. I say the three, y'all say the two and the one. Basil Australia. Three. Two, one. 
Beatbox, mate. Sit down, enjoy the ride. Let the beat in, let it slide. Ooh. There's a nice mid-tone. I don't know. Range. I don't know. Mm, nice dense snare. With a with a pretty long release on it too. D'Lo decided to have a little bit more of a shorter release on his snares so that the sound would cut off quicker. Basically, it would be the difference of your snare being like or like that's like a, a simplified version of it. And this dude this dude has a little bit longer snares, which is making the the drums the drum sounds bleed into each other a little bit better. I love that snare sound. I don't know. I don't know. He's hitting those bass notes perfectly. I don't know. Putting a little modulation on his vocal. Got like a little swing to it. Ah, the bass notes in between the intervals. Sleep is the cousin of death. Damn, both of them had just like headbangers. I mean, I like metal headbanger, like you know what I mean. But like, like you have no choice but to nod your nod your head to the both of these beats that they that they did. Never sleep. Sleep is the cousin. So he's taking his phrases and turn it, turning them into vocal chops. Ooh, nice rundown. Ooh, whoa. Ooh, the breakdown. Time. Ooh. I need my sleep because I need to rest. Okay, wait, 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 wait. He did a lot of like vinyl scratches there at the end, obviously with his voice. I mean, that's the best way I could I could I could describe what's going on. Like it sounded like a DJ like actually cutting the record. <laughs> then the final one at the end. Time. <laughs> My oh my god. Oh, we're just going right into it. Oh, the note attached to the snare. Oh, slow down. Oh! Oh, he was holding out for the second round. The whistle sound here. Oh my god, the bass is ridiculous. So smooth. The beginning of it sounded like dubstep a little bit. God. Bro, the way he was able to bend the note up there, he did like a little pitch bend. It was so quick and subtle. It's like, Wait. first of all, that bounced back forth. Wait a minute. Like, oh. It's like a human sampler on stage. <laughs> I didn't know D-Lo was this dope with bass, man. This is crazy. Well, D-Lo. Low notes. Bass. I'm sorry, bruv. <laughs> Turn it to drum and bass here. Love that little bass synth sound he did. Oh, man. Okay. 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 How do you return that? How do you return that? I say the three, I'll Let's say go, Call of Duty Fish. Let's do it. Oh, oh, I hurt myself. Oh, 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 to see. oh, the blending of the bass notes with his singing right there. Crazy. Obviously, his was a lot more seamless and just sounded so much more cohesive. Oh my god. Oh, 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 oh
The bass note is the beginning of his vocal. Little drum fill. Oh, modulating the synth a little bit so it has a little more Snares have more velocity on them now. Hitting harder. Where are we going with it? Money bags. Mm, go half time. Money bags. Money bags. Money. I want more. Oh, what? Oh, the bounce. The bounce of that. Because he's taking the bass and he just keeps pushing it and then pulling it. But oh my god, how do you have that much control while doing a drum pattern at the same time and it's all coming from your boca? What is that guy holding in the crowd? Is that a is that a is that a toilet seat? Oh, 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 kind of an unorth unorthodox rhythm there. Who wins this? God. Oh my god. Oh my god. The friendly competition. I love it. I love it. I love it. Damn. Holy sh**. Who wins that? The solo champion. Grand Beatbox Battle, 10th edition, 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, please give. If I'm the judges, I'm like, yo, can you like hit me up tomorrow so I can give my answer? I need to think about this. <laughs> Wow. Wow. Make some noise for Phenomenal. John Fish from Australia, the 2018 Phenomenal. Box Battle Champion Solo. Damn. I need to see when he faces his arch nemesis, Fortnite Fish. I'm not going to lie to you. It felt good to finally react to this again, man. I'm, I'm impressed every single time that I watch these. Because then you hear me try to emulate the sound when I'm trying to explain what's going on and try to break down what I'm hearing and everything like that. And I sound stupid. <gasps> it's incredible what they're able to do. Their vocal control. And it makes sense that they all can sing to a degree. Or they could all at least hold a note. Because good singing comes from proper vocal control, breathing techniques, the way you shape your mouth to make sure certain notes come out the right way. And that's, they obviously got that mastered to a T. So, you know, it, it's crazy. I wanted to check out d -Lo for the first time and I see him lose. It could have went either way. I, I'm guessing the judges were just hungry. They're like, yo, we, we, we need to get something to eat. We got to get out of here. Let's just vote for somebody. Let's just all decide it for somebody. What do you think? Do you think you have somewhat of an advantage if you go last though and you blow the judges away and get the crowd? all hyped if you get the last hurrah at the end you know what i mean if you literally go last before the judging happens don't you think that's a little bit of an advantage because your round is fresh in their mind i'm not saying he didn't deserve it i'm saying both of them deserved it but i don't know these are just thoughts let me know what beatbox reaction i have to do next all right be stern with me about it appreciate you guys watching I'll see you in the next one